Hello, hello. It's me. Wait. There we go. It is I. It is Aka, aka Aka Fox. S Sprite shapeshifter VTuber thing for now. Um, uh, I'm I'm live. I'm doing the thing again. Uh, I'm on a I'm on a hot streak. Uh, after like a month of being unmotivated and all that good stuff, I've now streamed a whole week, and I even. Did Music Monday and got a lot accomplished there. I, I did a pretty good uh, lo-fi song and worked on one of the projects. And I've been working on my Minecraft stuff, uh, getting stuff done, feeling pretty good. Um, I don't really have much to say, much to talk about. So let's like, let's just get into it. Um, I think the server reset because it was server reset time. Well, no, it was, wait, like six is server reset time. Why? What's going on with the server right now? Might have to do something else if the, uh, the server keeps disconnecting me. But how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a good Friday, a fun Friday. Sad, hello, hello. Um, not sure if it's, why is it not working? Take is on. Maybe now? Yeah, it's working now. Okay. Um, so I was here and I'm trying to remember what my plan was for my storage here. Um, I don't have enough, I don't have enough hoppers to do anything else, so I'm just going to have to stop there. Um, oh my god, I liked the rubble mod, but like, man, did you see that? <laughs> it's, you just can't see until the rubble disappears. Okay, we're getting back to the surface. Aha! I've made it! Yes! I've emerged! <laughs> I've been birthed from the earth! <laughs> um, uh, ah! Okay. So. That should not be like that. There we go. Pretty sure that that will work. If items make it all the way around, they'll go to there and they'll drop in just fine. Uh, for, for those who weren't here last time, I finished fixing all of my problems with my item sorting system and got all the way here, which is where the, uh, the uh, like trash chest is. Oh my god, I do not need to be down here. Not trash chests, but like overflow chests will be. Now I just need the way like into the sorting system. So this is like the end after the items go all the way around the perimeter and go through all these automatic sorters, then it goes that way. But when it comes in, the items will drop down. Let's see, that's one, two. So here would be like symmetrical. If I wanted it to be symmetrical, it would be there, which What's the best way to do this, I wonder? Um, oops. Like this, probably? I got banned on an Iron Mouse stream because I called the quarter of her fans 35-year-old sim, so I'm not wrong, though. That's an interesting first message there, uh, jdog1609. Um, yeah, you're, you're, you're entitled to your opinion. Uh, I don't really have a stance on it either way. Uh, I know I'm not 35, and I sometimes watch Iron Mouse, so 
from my perspective, the only thing that I know for certain is that 100% of the people that I know who watch Iron Mouse are not 35. Uh, I mean, that's just... If, if you know all of, all of her viewers and know that they're all 35, that's uh, really good to know. That's really good, really valuable information to have. But I don't have that information, so I can't make a judgment. I will not make a judgment because I don't like being wrong, so as simple as that um i think i can just get rid of this because this is no longer going to be the input for my sorting system I'm not sure what i want to do if i want them to come down through here yeah i mean it's fine it's fine i'll get rid of this one lane here ah okay I'll get rid of this lane of sorting. So I'll lose out on one lane. The, there's part of me that like wants everything to be perfectly efficient. That's like, ah, you're you're missing out on some space if you do this. This could have been a sorting lane, but now it's, or this could have been a sorting lane. Wait, why did I remove this one? Oh, uh, I mean the people who spam domain and take TV message, not to root any of our main fans. Oh, I see, I see. Um, yeah, you never know. Uh, and also thank you for the follow. I think. That was probably you, J-Dog. I'm not sure. I guess it could have been anybody. I didn't see it. But thank you for the follow. Um, Yeah, it's like... Oh, there's a follow from J-Dog. And uh, Crucifith. Crucifith. That's a pretty cool name. I like that. I like that. Welcome on in. I'm uh, working on uh, my base build here. Which I started... Well, technically, I, I my first base that I was trying to build on this server... Uh, I never even finished before I started to get bored. Maybe bored isn't the right word. I just, I had better ideas for what I wanted to do. And I was like, oh, wait, I, oh, shit, I can do this, this, and this. So I just, like, abandoned it and have moved on to working on this one. And I've just come off, like, a multiple-month hiatus from Minecraft where I, I fucked shit up on this base and therefore was, like, man, and just didn't want to play. Uh, but I'm back. I'm back to playing. I don't know what's going on there. Um, and I've made a lot of progress this week, so I feel pretty good. Did I still need that one? I still need that one. Um, I'm still kind of winging it as I'm still kind of making it up as I go, but it tends to be how, yeah, yeah, it's like I get, un, I, I lose motivation when I have too many ideas and it feels overwhelming. And then I also, you know, lose motivation when I mess up. So Pretty much at the, the drop of a hat, I'll lose motivation. Dang, and I just popped a bunch of redstone doing that too, didn't I? Oh my god. Okay. Um, so the, the plan here for this build, for those who don't know, for those who want to know, the plan is... Oh, I guess I'm fine. The plan is to... Um, uh, try and get as many like automatic farms as I can into into my base um, so that while I'm just like in my base doing stuff they're running and uh, you know getting me stuff so that I don't run out of stuff that's all very simple uh, I think it's to an extent the the main idea for a lot of people's um, like base builds just want to get as much stuff in the base as they can Uh, this is starting out, this is pretty ugly, but I just, I have to have, like, I have to have the start of my item sorter, because I'm going to start digging out the area of my base, and I want to have somewhere to put all of the stone and shit that I'm digging, so that I don't, uh, just waste it, or have, constantly have full inventory, and then have just a bunch of chests full of shit, so I'm like, okay, I need the base of my sorting system started. Um, did I break through yet? I broke through something. Um, I need to get a PC for Java Edition. Yeah, I've always uh, always played Java, so um, 
I'm partial to it. Although, like, watching YouTubers and everything talk about it, I think that, technically speaking, Bedrock is superior, but, like, Java is what I've always played. So, to me, Java is superior. <laughs> um, yeah, just don't download any mods until they fix their stuff. Yeah, I, I'm still using the, the, like, resource pack that I was using before, but it's not on the infected list. And also, uh, I just re-downloaded them like last week i guess that could mean they still could have been infected i was thinking like that i didn't have them during the time that that people are referring to i don't know it's it's probably fine i ran the check i don't have anything i'm not downloading anything new so should be fine but you as well uh, uh j dog if you do get uh java if you do get java on pc soon ish be careful through if you use uh, curseforge for modding there's a there was a breach they had a user who was uploading malware as mods and so it's a little bit sketchy right now downloading mods specifically from curseforge i believe i guess it's possible that that individual was uploading on on uh other sites as well but it's like it's known that there were bad files on curseforge but other than that, I'd highly recommend modding um, if you haven't before for a great experience. Uh, yeah, they released a tool that can help you spot the thing, so if you're clean, you should be good to go. Yep, yep, yep. Now I need water. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. So the killing floor of my mob masher is going to be above this somewhere. I don't know how many blocks above this, but it will be above this. I, don't, I think I can seal this off. I think that that's fine. So the killing floor will be above, uh, will be up here somewhere. And I want the items that are dropped from the mob masher. And this is something that I've been toying with in my brain for a very, very long time. Um, I want that to be. <laughs> So I want the items. So the mobs come down, they die. I, I want them to be to be to auto die unless you're standing nearby. So I'll have proximity detectors using blowfish on all four of the sides. So if there's a player standing there, it'll change something about the build so that the mobs falling do not automatically die. Okay. I don't know what it'll change, but it'll change something. Um, if they fall and automatically die because no player is standing close enough nearby, I want the items to be automatically pushed into the chute to go into sorting. Automatically. Uh, for a long time, I was thinking about ways to do that with water, but obviously water will break the mob's fall and they won't take damage and they won't die. So I was like, okay, so I can't use water for this. I can't, I can't have a water channel, at least not right here. Mobs need to die. Items will drop right here. And then how do I push the items? So I thought about having like almost like a conveyor system, having little little scoopers of block with honey on the end. And then like on the end, have a little um, hopper conveyor chain so it like pushes a row of blocks, you know, down. And then I don't know, it moves the blocks in a different way back around to the, to the front. And so you have like rows of blocks that are just like pushing along, sweeping the items. That's one possibility. I've also looked into um, honey blocks because items, loose items like this will stick to honey blocks and can get moved along. And then if the honey blocks go down and then the next honey blocks go over, it'll push those items off. Um, the problem with that is honey blocks also reduce or they, they increase the, the distance that a mob needs to fall to take lethal damage. I think it's a significant factor as well. I think it reduces it reduces fall damage by like 80% or something crazy. So they would need to fall... Uh, what is that? Wait, wait, wait. 50% reduction would be twice. So 80% would be like 3.5 times farther. So it would have to be a really long death shoot, which isn't all that efficient because the longer that the mobs are falling, those mobs exist and they're affecting the mob cap while they're falling. I, I need to kill the mobs as quickly as possible so that more mobs can spawn on the next tick. Um, I'm going for not peak efficiency, but as high efficiency as I'm willing to go. I'm trying to go for max efficiency or high efficiency. So 
Then I thought about, I, I, I did some research. It turns out if you have slabs on top of honey blocks, the items that fall on the slabs will still be stuck to the honey blocks beneath. And so if the honey blocks are moving along on a conveyor, they'll pull the items with them even if the items are on slabs. Mobs can fall on slabs and still take full damage. So that solves those two problems. And the problem is I'm not sure if honey blocks move slabs, if slabs will stick to honey blocks. Um, so that might be an issue. Additionally, it's like the items like get to the end and then what the honey blocks underneath the slab will go down but then the item will just be on this block not in water i need to push them all the way over into water blocks um regardless that's all well and good but one uh i'm just gonna do this oh wait not this uh irregardless that's all well and good but um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But it's not what I need to worry about now. Right now, I just need to get something set up here so that I can start mining out all of this above me here and just dumping it in and have it get auto sorted away without me having to worry. And then I can just start the long grind, long mine grind. I get a little sciencey on Minecraft. Minecraft is a science game to me. It's a science and engineering game to me. And while I'm not good or in that interested in redstone, uh, redstone usually does factor into the sciencey stuff that I do. I don't need any of those anymore. I don't need those anymore. Not sure how much water that I need, but I've done this before and ran out of water, and that's tedious to have to go and get more. So, ow. Oh my god, what are you doing? Take on? Yeah, it takes on. Okay. Oh yeah, one of the mod one of the, the mods or whatever that I have makes the bodies after they crumble they fizzle like that, which I think is pretty cool. I should have brought torches too, but I might be dumb. Possibly. This will need to not be covered later because actually the items in this channel will actually get sorted by allays. Um, I don't know if anybody out there has much experience with allays. I don't, but I've been like researching them. I just haven't started using them yet. See like blocks and redstone stuff, the science of that is like very, very predictable and easy to use and you just know what they're gonna do. Allays, like we know mechanically what they're gonna do, but they're effectively a living creature i mean not actually living but you know they're living in minecraft so I, they feel more unpredictable even though they follow very simple rules i'm like hesitant to start using them because um because yeah it feels like trying to rely on a wild animal but allays can sort unstackable items for example if an allay is holding a stone pickaxe it will grab it has two inventory slots one for what it's holding and one for what it's looking for and it'll grab any other stone pickaxes that come by. It'll just grab them automatically. Um, and it does not care about enchantment or health of the pickaxe. It ignores all metadata, which is really interesting. I, I was doing stuff with mod packs years and years ago. And in mod packs, I was having trouble sorting unstackable items. Uh, I'm sure that there was an easy solution, but so many mod packs that deal with like hopper stuff like improved hoppers and, and improved storage and stuff don't factor in for unstackable items because they don't like they either don't account for metadata or they do account for metadata um or or they rather they do account for metadata in that like a a, a stone sword with half hp is technically different than a stone sword with full hp as far as the metadata goes minecraft sees those as different items so like these mods that have like improved hoppers and stuff will see those as two different stone swords. And so like you can't put a filter in that that filters out or that that grabs all of them, you know. You could put filters in that would like filter out, but then you would need one filter for every possible configuration of HP and enchantment, which would be literally hundreds of filters just to filter out stone swords. But allays you give an allay a stone sword, and it thinks all stone swords are stone swords. And allays can be, like, tied to a jukebox. So if an allay is holding a stone sword, and it's tied to a jukebox, 
uh, it, uh, tethered to like a jukebox, not like literally with a rope, but if a jukebox plays a sound near an allay that's holding an item, rather than bringing the item to you, it will bring the item to the jukebox. You just have to have a jukebox that plays a sound every, I think, 30 or 60 seconds, which that's easy to do with a redstone circuit. So you have a jukebox that plays a tone every 30 seconds and an allay nearby holding a stone sword. He will grab any stone sword that he sees and he will try to throw it at the jukebox. And then you just put hoppers around the jukebox and a pillar above it so that the item can't go on top of the jukebox. And then it, it just hits the, the jukebox and falls into the hoppers and gets collected. So that is how you sort unsor unstackable items using allays. And I can do that with stone pickaxes. I can use that on enchanted bows, enchanted swords, enchanted armor. Anything that might come into this, to this shoot that is not stackable will be in this first pass will be pulled out by the LAs and put into, you know, they'll try to throw it at a jukebox. It'll get picked up by hoppers and it'll get put into an appropriate hopper chain. So if it's smeltable, like a gold sword, it'll get put into a hopper chain that leads to furnaces. If it's trash, like stone sword, it'll get put into a hopper chain that leads to universal trash. And I don't know where any of that will be, but I'm super excited about doing that. That's the shit that I've been thinking about for months. That's part of the reason that I had to redesign this whole base is because I'm like, oh my God, that's so awesome. And I can't wait to get started on that, but I don't have even the ground fully broken yet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, I just, I was like, wait, I didn't type it. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Server lagging real bad. One, two, oh, two, three, four, five, okay. The server is lagging absurd right now. Yeah, that's really bad lag. It's possible that the server host is, oh, I'm probably about to DC too. Possible that the server host is doing um, some changes, I'm not sure. Sounds hecking neat, but I'm big dumb. I don't think I can do that. <laughs> It, it's it sounds really complicated and even i when i was like learning about it i was like okay this sounds complicated but in the end it just means put an allay tie it to a leash put it near a jukebox that that rings every 30 seconds and put a stone sword in its hand and now it'll pull out every stone sword or i mean as long as like if like 20 stone swords come through at once you can't get them all but that hopefully i won't have that kind of bottlenecking authentication servers are down for real? So it's a Minecraft thing. It's not it's not the server host. Ah, get that hydrate. I might have to play some League of Legends while I wait for Minecraft to get better. I'm obviously very very excited about about the about the uh the base construction. I'm finally about to start, but there's nothing I can do. Nothing I can do about that. So I'm going to play League. I'm going to play League of Lemons. League of Lemons. My taskbar is exposed. What's keeping my taskbar open? Oh, Discord. Oh, Discord wants me to update my username. Cool. Man, I couldn't get Aka. I couldn't get Aka Fox. Couldn't get a, Please click on containing an animal. Okay. I have to prove that I'm not a bot. It seems like it seems like Recaptcho is using AI generated art. I couldn't get Aka. I couldn't get Aka Fox, but I did get um, I did get Aka Fox Five, which is what I was before, so that's fine. Uh, probably a ram. I'm a filthy casual now. I I never hit the rift anymore. It's just I used to play so much league back in like 2010, 2011 when I first started playing. 2010 through 2013, I would say I played so much, and like almost exclusively ranked, like just sweaty, like 
League was my League was my like Counter Strike or you know League was my yeah I'm having issues as well I'm gonna play some League while I wait it said authentication servers so it's a Minecraft thing um but yeah I played so much League like sweaty try hard where I was like I was reading the lore about the champions and I was like practicing I was I was doing practice matches and like talking about builds with my brother and everything and I'm just like so over it. it was certainly a fun time but like man I just don't want to try hard on games anymore I just want games to be fun again you know I got I went all the way to that to that peak level where games were very 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 not fun I'm gonna go tank Trindamir. it's it's absolute cheese but yeah I went to that like try hard extreme where games were no longer fun and I just want to get back to where games are fun again. Well, I have for a while now. It's been a good five years where I've been like, hey, let's stop sweating on anything. I, I, I try not to sweat on anything. I like your funny words, Magic Man. Which one? Take that. Take that's funny words. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it, it's such like a stupidly simple concept i'm sure for a lot of people like yeah of course games should be fun but it was like kind of a profound moment for me it was a profound turning around of how i was playing games um and uh it just really really affected uh porque los dos porque no do porque no dos i'm learning espanol <laughs> uh i went to apologize i felt like shit for whatever reason yeah i mean that can happen um it's even if even if it's even if it's true you know there's a certain amount of like tact and like you know it, sometimes it just sometimes it just sucks to be sucky i guess it just sucks to be mean and and you know the fact that the fact that you feel bad about it is a good sign you know it can it can feel good to just be nice i know that's uh kind of an absurd concept to a lot of people especially online but like just being nice to people is kind of fun sometimes even if you know even if even if the people that you're being nice to aren't necessarily the greatest people in the world it's like eh. doesn't mean you have to be negative at least that's what i try and try to even be nice to nasty people. Kindness, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. There's also a word for... um. I'm trying to remember what the word for it is, but there's a word for uh, um, finding joy in the joy of others. And that was something that I developed and I did not develop like it's not my personal thing. I developed it in me. It's something that I read about and started working on trying to um, like bring into to my person, make part of who I am. Um, and uh, I'm a big fan of it. it. It really changed a lot of things for me personally, like just being like, oh, wait. I can just be happy when other people are happy, which is very different from how I was when I was younger. I used to be happy when other people were miserable. <laughs> um, yeah, now, now it's like, if you see somebody else being happy or having a good time, no matter what your initial thought may be, just go, I'm gonna try and be happy when this person's happy. Fruden, uh, fruden, fr yeah, I think that might be it. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've heard the word. That sounds right. It's certainly a German word. There's a lot of um, emotions and feelings that we have like German expressions for that we don't really have in English. Um, that describes the bliss we feel when someone else succeeds. Even yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, and it's weird. It's something that I had to like work on. I ha because I passed me see somebody succeed and i want to be like oh well but it, it wasn't that impressive because of x y and z or you know it could have been this it could you know it's just basically just shit on other people's fun <laughs> um they say misery loves company and uh, i was miserable 
I didn't know that I was miserable. I thought that I was great. I was very narcissistic and thought that I was great. But uh, if, if you feel like you're great because you're putting other people down, if you feel like you're great because you're making fun of other people, then you're not great. You're not great. It means that you're low and you're just making other people lower. But that doesn't, that doesn't really, that doesn't balance. That is not the way. The opposite of Schaden, Schadenfreude, 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 which I assume is is where you uh, where you just love it when other people are suffering. I know many many people who are like that. <laughs> they just love. They they're addicted to the drama. I mean that describes most of Twitter, right? Oh, they definitely think I've already used my ult. 100%. Oh, I was a second too late. <laughs> I had it. Probably even heard the keyboard click. I pounded that R button. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah. I talk about it. I talk about it enough that I probably start to annoy people that I'm close to who hear me talk about it all the time, but uh, it was a, a fun time in my life to just intentionally and consciously want to make changes to improve and start reading self-help books and all that. And I'm like, whoa, this stuff actually works. <laughs> These people actually know what they're talking about. Um, they have some good ideas in there and I've become a happier person. <laughs> I'm just running at them. I got my ult. I'm not afraid of anything. I literally do not care. I still do not care. You can stun me all you'd like. Oh, he tried. Well, I, that was a little bit frustrating because I was just sitting there taking damage. Jesse Lockhart, join the Sit Squad. Hello. Now you're playing a real game, block game bad. I, servers are down for block game. <laughs> How dare you make Brian say block game bad. Brian loves block game. Um, yeah, servers are down, so, so here I am. <laughs> um... Yeah, so we're uh, we're getting sweaty in in the league. Oh my god. Go off Twitch. Oh. Ugh. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, we're talking about uh the the period in my life where I decided to to stop being an asshole basically. <laughs> That's the simple way to put it. Uh there's certainly a, probably a nicer way to put it, but basically I was an asshole and I said I'm Gonna try and not be an asshole. Um, during that time, I had some good people in my life who, like, just by being nice people, just by being caring, like, respectful individuals, they didn't even they didn't even like try and push anything on me or tell me that I should change or anything like that. They just were just a positive influence. I mean, it's that simple. Um. And sometimes that's all it takes, is just somebody to, to show you the way. <laughs> I think... Oh, he was going for either of us, I guess. He missed all four, I think. Akalor. I want to leave, but I have playing with them for two years. There'll be one of them is friendly. Hmm. Especially if you're... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, especially if you're around folks that, that don't want to support you. Um... Yeah, 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 Akalor. Simple kindness goes a long way. The lore, yeah, the lore. I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm really, I'm proud of it. Uh, it also gives me the ability to, the ability to see people both online and see people around who act a certain way and be like, ah, that, that was me. Like I, I relate. I know, I know exactly the type. So like. As a mod, it's it's helpful. 
because I sometimes see people and I'm like, no, I, I know this. Like, yes, they're are they being an asshole? Yeah, but I'm not giving them a pass. But like I say, I just I understand them. You know, I understand them, and I know that sometimes it doesn't come from a place of like wanting to be wanting to be mean. I can't believe his queue was up. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, because they've got Morgana, Nami, uh, uh, uh. Aka, all knowing asshole. True, true, true. <laughs> uh, didn't have to cut me off right now. What do you mean? Nobody, nobody was cutting you off. You can continue. No, but don't, 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 yeah, nothing wrong with that. I'm going to get some heart steel procs. I just don't die like ever. I just never die. <laughs> Tank Trindamir, too broken. Oh, it's a song lyric to the end of the. It's a song lyric to the end of the lore. I see, I see. Oh, we're already trying to surrender. I'm good. This is new baby metal. The new album, the other one, which Baby Metal puts out a new album. Like, I'm just going to get some. Well, I was trying to get some Heart Steel procs, but they see me ult and just run away. <laughs> do, 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 do. VTubers don't die. They only end up in V Shoujo. Oh, I wish, dude. I wish. Let me and Athol and Kenji join V Shoujo as V Shonen. Please and thank you. <laughs> can you imagine? Bro, can you imagine? And Saikuno, too. Saikuno can come, too, since I'm number one Saikuno simp in the TVS server. Me, Athol, Kenji, and Saikuno. V Shonen 2023. <laughs> Well, that might have been on me. I'm not sure. I just want heart steel. Pro there we go. I don't care. You can run away now. I'll get you too. Pop. I am not even. I'm playing a different game from them right now. How do they see me? Is he going for me? Oh no. Can you guys just attack them, please? Thank you. Much appreciated. Oh, he did nothing and then he died. Okay, I did nothing and then I died. <laughs> I soaked up a lot of hits. They just need to understand that when they're attacking when they're attacking me, they can just free fire on them I think I don't know maybe they're getting zoned off I don't know I don't know I don't know what's happening I guess Vlad's zoning them off maybe I'm not sure if anybody knows what's happening in these team fights let me know ah uh, yeah Lucian's just dead I think Oh my god, the freaking crowd control. Uh. 
Oh my god, he's so fucking fast. Is he just ghosted permanently? Like, oh my god, and then I died to the Jinx ult. It's absurd, he's so fucking fast! <laughs> Why is he so fast? I guess it's Cosmic Drive. I don't know if that's entirely balanced, but then again, I guess I'm a tank. I shouldn't be trying to 1v1 him. Well, I wanted to wait for my thing, but I gotta get out there. I mean, he literally just abandoned me. He just abandoned me for minions that Graves and Lucian could have gotten. I have not lost a match on a tank Trindomir in a very long time, but this is absurd. <laughs> I guess we have a 7 and 12 Lucian, 5 and 9 Twitch, 5 and 8. Like, nobody's positive. Yorick is negative, everybody's negative. Oh, I will. That was rough. That was rough. Well, that's fine. We were just doing that while we waited on Minecraft. Minecraft! York. You know, despite everything, York wasn't bad. I apparently played terrible. It sucks tanking for, like, no team, though. <laughs> yes! Block game! Jesse, you gotta see my, my incredible base. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get some water, because I gotta drink water, because I'm a dehydrated bitch, and I'm out of water. I will be right back in seconds. I've returned. Minecraft still hasn't started. I have 30 ounces of water and already have a full bladder. Let's see how much of this I can get down before I burst. <laughs> okay, that's all I can get down for now. I'm here. I'm in the block game. Doing the thing. Okay, so we have that. My idea is that while I mine this all out, I'm just going to throw items into this hole. Uh, that means that, like... This is all just temporary. I am... Yeah, I'm just going to throw items into this hole. That should work, right? Oh wait, I need to I need a sign right here. Yeah, that works, right? I mean this should probably be blue ice just to be safe. That feels like I popped way too much. Yeah, I did. 
say, but I never had a doubt. It's like no matter what I do, I can't convince you for once just to hear me out. So I let go watching you. I gotta go. Now, just to make sure that everything's working, the signs and that that blue eye should come all the way around. Wait, do loose items despawn if they're far away from the player? They don't, right? No, they only despawn after a certain amount of time. But, like, they should still be simulated that far, right? What's the simulation distance? It's like 16 chunks, I think. And this thing is just one chunk. Or it's like eight chunks simulation distance. This is just one chunk, so they should be fine. We should see, any second now, we should see signs. We should see some signs sliding along. Maybe. Or the blue ice. Signs or the blue ice. We're looking for... Oh, wait. This needs to be... No, wait. That was fine. Also, I don't see signs or blue ice, and I don't know why. So we're going to have to do some troubleshooting. Hopefully, it's not a major problem. No, that got sucked up. That got sucked up. That went in one of these, didn't it? It went in there. Where are my filters? Uh, why am I running? I just... Ow! Sticks. Stick is not a filter, but sticks is a filter. I may be a little bit crazy for doing that, but it happened. It was one of these, one of these, one of these. One of these. Okay. Time to test again. Ready? Go! Is it gonna make it? Is it gonna make it? <gasps> Wait, this doesn't work. Does this need to be stone? Or like that? Huh. So... Did I have the complete, like, wrong idea? This is why we test these things. For science. Ah! Um... I need signs, <laughs> which my signs are in the system somewhere. <laughs> Probably just stuck, but. Ow. Devastating. I'm so ready to just start mining. I'm so ready to just start on the grind of like mining all this out. I know I got signs somewhere. Sign, sign, there we go. Fine. Wait, does that work? I'm not sure if that aligned though. Yeah, that didn't align. It needs to come down and then it needs to align. I guess, I think waterlogged double chess works. Uh, I don't know.
don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Does this mean that you can't turn? Surely there's a way that I can do this. Just think about it. Yeah, that worked, but does that go all the way? Now let's stop right there. Um, hmm. Does this mean that my signs and stuff are like right? Um, have you listened to dwarf metal recent? Dwarf metal as an a band named dwarf metal or just the genre of dwarf metal? I listened to um uh what's that what's that dwarf metal band that does uh, diggy diggy hole? Um dang. I'm going to have to uh Uh, what, well, Windrose, Windrose, Windrose is the one that I, that I listen to. Uh, who do I listen to other than, I certainly listen to a lot of, like, Lord of the Rings-esque metal, a lot of, like, nerd metal like that. Epic power metal! Um, we were talking, in the V Tempo server, we were talking about, uh, Glory Hammer. And there's Angus Mix Six. Can't think of how much other stuff that I listened to. It popped up for you recently. What were? Do you usually listen to like epic stuff, like power metal and stuff like that? Or I don't recall hearing any on your stream, but that doesn't mean that you don't listen to it. So I do not know. Work. Where did that go? Did that go in here? That went in. This is not properly. Urgh. It's always problems with this guy. Why is it? Oh, it's because. Hmm. Okay, well, we're just going to have to accept that problems are going to happen. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it wasn't on my playlist for stuff. I need to add more songs. More songs! Speaking of more songs, like, why did my- I went to play this song, and it just, like, paused. Play. There we go. Yeah, um... Does that mean that all are all my corner ones wrong aligned? Take that, join the game. No, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. This is the the visual representation of where everything was because I kept forgetting where I had put stuff. Also, I think it kind of looks cool. You can see like the color palettes and stuff. Okay, go little C pickle. Where did that just go? Did that go in here? Where did that go? Why? Did, wait, I didn't put. I locked it, but I didn't put filters back in. Okay, okay, okay. Third time's the charm. Third time is the charm. This is going all the way around. Let's go. All the way around. Just perfect. That did not align. Nope. We went right past. What if I what if I do something crazy? What if I get a little crazy? Four sea pickles in the corner. I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy hole. <gasps> that worked! The four pickles worked! Four pickles! 
I need more water because I want those because four pickles puts off more light than a torch. Fun fact, four, uh, a torch puts off seven block radius light, but four pickles put off eight. <laughs> I hurt my throat during that. Put off uh, uh, eight block radius light. So actually four sea pickles are more efficient lights than torches. Just the problem is they've got to be underwater to put off that light. But so my first base idea, I was going to try and light it up using uh, lit sea pickles like that was my idea. I mean, I wasn't just my idea. I, I did it. I just, that base didn't last. But I'm going to carry that over into this base. I'm certainly going to have sea pickle lanterns. I mean, it's also just, like, interesting, like, having sea pickle lanterns. I think it is. Yeah, I'm a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy, diggy hole. I'm a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. This is, I should have been listening to this from the start anyway. I mean, it is Minecraft, right? I thought I had enough, but. <gasps> Oh, that was clean. That was clean. <laughs> that was pod racing. <laughs> okay, time to test. We're going to send a potato. I'm not going to, I'm not even going to follow it. Wait. Why was that getting stuck there? Is that going to be a thing? Oh, it's because. Because any, anything coming down this chute is actually in both blocks, so I can't have a full block there. It has to be like that, yeah. I don't know if that will have enough speed. We'll see. We're going to test with the potato. We're going to give it the old potato test. Go, potato, go! Go, potato, go! You got this! I saw the button press. I saw the button press. It's going to go. It's going to make it. It's going to make it. for this or DRG. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Speaking of, I really been meaning to play Deep Rock Galactic. Where is it? Where is it? Where's the potato? It might not have made it. Yeah, I don't think it made it. Did you guys see a potato come by here? The redstone dust, like, flickering like that is throwing off my... I don't see it. I think it would have made it by now. Okay, time to see, time to see how far it makes it. What? Why did it not make it past here? Why did it? That's not. It's no good. Is it just going too fast? Why did it bounce up? Should I do a chest there? Should I do a... Hmm. More tests. More tests needed. Maybe it wasn't fully property, properly aligned here? It go too fast because of the ice. So many things that it could be. Potato. It. It went between. It's definitely going too fast. It's definitely going too fast. So what if we do like this? One, two, three, four. So it just has to scoot. Oh, I forgot this third-party YouTube uh, YouTube music isn't great. It doesn't auto-generate playlists. Do, 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 do. Let's listen to Hikaru Tada. This is the one. I like this album. From 2009. But it holds up. I mean, everything Hikaru Tada holds up, right? 
like you can listen to um you know song from kingdom hearts which one is it simple and clean i think from the kingdom hearts commercial holds up holds up we're zooming we're zooming it's going so fast yeah that's certainly the problem is going too fast okay it can only make it Well, then, by that logic, that should be fine. Why? Why? Okay, time to try chess. Waterlogged chess. Waterlogged chess have the same hitbox as two sea pickles. They are one in a million. It does mean that we will not have the light, but... Look at that. Technically, that has the same hitbox as far as alignment goes, but it certainly looks like it's wider. So that's probably... That'll probably work fine. But we won't have the light. We won't have the sea pickle light, but it's okay. I can put I can put sea pickle somewhere else. I don't know. It looks exactly the same. Let me test it. Yeah, let me test it right there. Why I no 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 let's get some lights in there. I've got nothing. Let's no another one. Another one. Jesus. No. I'm playing with fire. <laughs> my heart rate. My heart. My Coco Row. That was exciting. Um, it's, where are all my torches? I got one. Didn't I, have, I had another one somewhere. Nope. I guess not. Baby, come back to me. Baby, come back to me. Come back. I got coal somewhere. There we go. I got coal. Can I still use the sticks as sticks? I can. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. That gives me a use for my filter as well. There we go. No! This bastard. See you later, dude. <laughs> it's so satisfying that they crumble. Guess the farm is working, though. Yeah, yeah, the mob farm part is definitely working. Go, 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 go. Don't go between them. Don't go between them. It went between them. Can I waterlog a double chest? Of course. Simple solution. Simple solutions. No sea pickles. Double chests. It works. Aesthetically, it works. It's a storage system. It's all going into chests anyway. This is just like it tells the item in advance. This is where you're going. Just not right now. It works. I'm vibing right now. That was fun.
Okay, now we test. We do the potato test, all right? Three, two, one. Go, potato, go! Go, potato! Go! I will see you soon, potato. Now we wait. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting. Keep an eye out for a potato. <gasps> no way. It fucking worked! Let's go! All right. Uh, I don't know what to do with myself. Eat a potato. Eat a celebratory potato. Perfect, 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 perfect. Now, all of these can get sorted. I'm about to limit test it though. That's a lot. Let's see if it picks up all of it or if any of that goes past. So like there's slots for all of this, but is it gonna get grabbed? It might have grabbed it all. Some might have gotten through. So let's look for stone. If I can get back in time, let's see if stone that was like multiple stacks of 64 all at once, though. I don't know why I'm doing that. Yeah, it looks like s multiple stacks of 64 all at once is too much. So, that means I can't just do a hole like I wanted. I need to turn the music down. I'm vibing too hard. Um, okay, so I can't just do a hole like I wanted. I'll do a hole down to hoppers. And then um, uh, droppers. Do I have any droppers? Because droppers will only drop at like one per tick or whatever they drop at. <sighs> A little bit more complicated, but should be fine. How do I even make a dropper? I don't have the recipe because I have not held all the items. Let me think. Is it a bow? Uh, oh my god, I can't believe I have to do this. It's because I got this because I installed the new Minecraft profile with this this mod pack. Drop for recipe. Literally just redstone, cobblestone around a single redstone. I have never held redstone and cobblestone at the same time on this install. Seems weird. Oh, it doesn't have to be cobble, right? FYI, up all night. Nine actually seems like a good number. Um, now how, oh, you need, you need observers. I don't have, do I have the recipe for observers? Oops. I do. Redstone, nether quartz, cobble. I'm pretty sure I've got all of that. If I remember correctly, it's just observers into the dropper, because then every time the dropper activates, the observer will see it activate and will tick power it once, I think. Oh, well, I've got one observer. Oh, here we go, another quartz. What did I run out of? Stone? Oh my god, why is it so hard to find anything? If only I had an item sorter. 
to sort all this, I should build an item sorter to sort the items so that I can build an item sorter. Now let me check. I just need a picture of the alignment. No, 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 no. Clearly it's simple. Dropper, item dropper. No, not the elevator. Easiest item dropper. I thought it was with an observer. item dropper now there's an easier way than that this looks like a dropper or is that a dis dispenser just in the oh okay I see Redstone and a lever. Okay, okay, okay. And then I said, simple then and I want to. Oh, wait, already. Right, yeah. Oops. Lever. Wait, I can't use, okay. So, how do these align? They face, so I need to do that. Yeah, okay. Sometimes it doesn't go as planned. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I don't need nine, do I? Oops. It's envious of us. Like apple and cinnamon. I can't see. That way? Yes. Oh, wait. Um. Can I do this from the side? Yeah, I should be able to do this. Oh, 
Yeah, I can do this from any side. Okay. This should work. Wait, can I not just put levers on this? Will this not? No. Wait, maybe it does need to be up? Oh wait, I can always do this. This works. So the problem that I was gonna run into is that I needed to top load these with hoppers, but the the observer combo was on top. But this this does the trick. Uh, That should be, wait. That should be constantly blinking since I can see the face. Or wait. Drive it the wrong way. Ah, uh, redstone's too hard for me. Ah! Okay, that way works. So I did have it the wrong way. So the picture that I'm looking at is misleading. It's, it's actually just wrong. They didn't, like... I think it threw in there. Okay, that's a good sign. Right, how do I? I'm so confused. Um, uh, now I've seen what's what's the elevator method? Um, None of these are simple. That work? No way that works. I know there's one in the end. Uh, excuse me. Oh, wait, wait, I know what it is. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. It's two observers looking at each other. Ah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's gonna get annoying. Fortunately, I won't be anywhere near this when I'm working. For just one more night together. That means I can do. Wait, no, I can't. Oh. Oh. Wait, is that dropping from here? Uh, apparently that's plenty. Apparently that's plenty. Okay. Does that mean I can just, like, make more? I guess. No, those ones are not powered. For whatever reason. Black pen. Just one more night together. Never. Now I just need like some zigzagging hoppers to like weirdly distribute the items. I say weird, but you know, just distribute the items. Sure, that's that's fine. Okay, now the process can begin properly. I can start just throwing shit in here that I don't need. Organize, reorganize my inventory, finally. It feels like it's been forever. The filters, I need to be very careful to not throw into the system. They will fuck up the whole system. The filters need to go die. Okay. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. Go die in Minecraft. Oh, hola. Como estas? Uh, uh, Inglés, por favor. Sorry, I didn't, uh, I didn't see. Yeah, uh, only, only English. Thank you, thank you. My Spanish is not that great. No, no bueno espanol for, for me. Yeah, something like that. Um, I was going to put in these other blocks too. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to put... I'm not going to put everything there. Stuff that I plan to have sort lanes for. I'm gonna hold off on just the things that currently have sort lanes or that I know just need to go in the random chest. Oh wait, what am I doing? There's not gonna be enough storage for everything yet. I need to actually make the storage underneath the sort lanes. Got it. Okay, okay. I can still do this though. This is satisfying. I need those. Ow. Question is, I guess, how far down do the chests need to go? Probably not that far. Probably not that far. I imagine. I need more hoppers. It's automatic. Oh, wait, I did have these. 
I can make a lane for diamond ore blocks. Okay. I guess I can take these hoppers. I don't, that won't be enough. But it's a start. What was I using as filters in these? Oh, I did have deep slate iron. Was I using maps as filters? Is that all, or did they go in somewhere? I already have a lane for deep slate iron. Oh, I guess I can take the hoppers underneath. Oh. 40 does not feel like all the hoppers. They definitely went in here. Some did. Okay. Oh, I have deep slate redstone as well. I just want to not, I just want to not have to, uh, to make a bunch of hoppers. I'm going to have to make a bunch of hoppers. Okay. How much iron do I have? Oh. Helping Hand 97 rating with a party of two. Welcome on in, Helping Hand and guest. I am Aka, aka Aka Fox Sprite Shapeshifter VTuber thing. Hello, hello, welcome. I'm playing block game. I don't know if that was clear or not, but I am playing block game. Uh, making progress, but also making mistakes. So, pretty much a normal stream then. How was your stream helping? If you, uh, you need to go and, and hydrate or anything, be sure to do that but uh yeah how, how did things go i was gonna pop in before my stream but um i was also very lazy and i was watching uh watching league league of legends league of lemons like a filthy degenerate uh is there a tint with your game it does kind of look like there is i don't know why but not on my end there's not um yeah, I don't know. Is it is it unwatchable? It looks it looks a little bit dim, but like passable, you know. Oh my god, I just want the hoppers. I see them there. No, I see the hoppers. There we go. It's not like unwatchable, but it looks like it's on dark mode. I wonder um Checking movie itself, now playing alert at display capture. Wait, I have a display capture and an application capture? If I turn that off? Looks like a filter you have on game capture in OBS. Filters. Nope, no filters. It is very weird. Oh well, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. My PC has been doing some weird things. I should check my display drivers. So like um Opera specifically. Uh what the fuck you doing? Uh, 
Opera is like glitching out when I like open things in Twitch. So like if I'm playing a game and I have Opera open on my second monitor and I like open like the emote selector, say, in Twitch, Opera like bugs out the screen flickers and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I think this is a display driver. Probably just need to update them. Always a driver issue, right? Or essentially. Always a driver issue. Okay. So here is where we need the first boats. I don't need that there. Wait, some of this is already set up. I didn't even think about that. That will save me actually probably a lot of hoppers. Okay, so one, two, three, four. wait, how many of these do I have? We are listening to Hikaru Utada. This is the one from like 2009. That old J-pop. Question is, do I get some takeout for dinner or just deal with it until tomorrow when I go to the movies? What do you, what do you mean deal with it? You mean like don't eat? Are you, be, are you talking about just not eating until tomorrow? What do you mean? I'm so confused by that. Eat, eat my dude, eat. And hydrate as well. Sad will destroy you if you do not hydrate. I've seen it happen. <laughs> eat, 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 eat. You should eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Yeah. What was my strategy here for the storage? Yeah, no eating until around, uh, until tomorrow around noon. Oh, it just started raining. Is it acid rain? Be careful. <laughs> Hopefully it's safe. Okay, positioning, positioning. Ugh. There is a there is a technical reason for these uh for these chest boats, by the way. There is a technical reason. It must be chest boats. Uh, it's more ash rating probably. I think they, I think, I think ash rain, I think still counts as acid rain. Like even though, well, maybe not, maybe not acid rain. I don't know. Still counts as something I think, because like I've heard them describe just like toxic rain as acid rain where it's just like heavy pollutant. So like I lived in Arizona for about a year and a half when I was younger. And, uh, because of the heat and everything, we would have pollution days pretty regularly during the summer where like the smog just wouldn't go anywhere like the heat and stuff it would just we would just have a dome of smog over phoenix and um you know those days it was it was uh uh air index days and it's like you weren't supposed to mow your lawn and stuff just because they didn't want more gas more 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 fumes in the atmosphere anyway um and if it would rain on those days they would call it acid rain it's like i don't know maybe it really was acidic yeah, next is still at 124 with the Canadian fire. Yeah. Yeah. Is there going to be anything left of Canada when we're done here? Is, are they just, they're just getting rid of the whole thing and starting over? They're like, yeah, this, this Canada thing was fun, but, but you know, it's over now. We can move on. I hope so. <laughs> Rip Canada. <laughs> Hopefully there are no Canadians in the chat. <laughs> uh, Rip Canada. <laughs> Okay, what's the what's the strats here? My whole thing was I wanted these to fill the storage first, and then if the storage overflows, I want it to go off into an overflow to another lane. But I think that any, even in this arrangement with this hopper pointing that way and then this one pointing down, I think it prefers to go down. Like if I do this, I think it yeah it prefers to pull down. 
So what this should be is not like this. Let me think. Should not be if it prefers down. Then the first drop from all these should be down. All six. Do I have space for all these? I'm picking up so many hoppers. Nope. Well, I will need that, actually. Um, Alright, if I get takeout, it's either McDonald's, Chick-fil-A, Popeyes, or just eat what's left in the fridge, which is stuff just left over spaghetti, but I had that for lunch, too. Oh, it's hard having the same meal twice. It's I did that the other day. I had... Um, mac and I had leftover mac and cheese for lunch, and then at night I was like running low on food, and I'm like, uh, I'm just gonna eat mac and cheese again, and ugh, it's so difficult, so 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 difficult. Let's see, so it should be like this. Actually, though, wait, some of these, like, here, okay. Uh, oh, and Wendy's, I guess it's on the table as well. I mean, Wendy's is a vibe. I would go for Wendy's right now. Did I have dinner? I'm sitting here hungry. Like, did I have dinner? I had dinner. I don't know why I'm hungry. I've been eating more light. I've been back on my, my diet, I guess I should say. What I, what I had been, what I had been eating before falling off for a little while. By falling off, I just mean, like, I stopped caring as much and was just kind of eating what I wanted to. Where am I? I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm having a fun time today. Because <laughs> of me, I always talk about food. That's why, you're, that's why I'm hungry? Hmm. Hmm. I see, I see. No, it's fine. I like talking about food, generally. I should just eat. That's a nice thing about, well, that's a nice thing I think about dieting is that it's like I, I, I'm, I'm on a diet, but not dieting. So it's like if I'm hungry, I can just kind of eat and it's OK. It's fine. Because I didn't have that many calories today. So I can I can eat a little extra when I feel like I need it. But then most nights I don't feel like I need it. Get me wrong. But don't mean I have to eat. Don't think life is quite that simple when you listening to Hikaru Utada means that you guys get to listen to me sing along to Hikaru Utada. Don't go simple and clean is the way that you're making me feel tonight. Okay, now these will prefer to go down. They will prefer to go down, which means this top layer can point all to the left, but they will prefer to go down until down is full, then they will go to the left. So, now I make left pointing. Well, I guess I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have two lanes. I'm gonna have a burn lane and a trash lane. Oh, a furnace lane and a trash lane. Don't go simple and clean as the way Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more hoppers. Need a lot more hoppers. 
never lies beyond this mall. A little later. You know how much food I could eat? I could eat at least 1.5 thousand calories. I believe it. I had like I had like a honey bun today. And it was like 700 calories. <laughs> I'm like, man, that was a good honey bun. That's half my calories for today. <laughs> Rip. Simple and clear. That's the way. It's hard to let. I need so many hoppers. And I... I'm pretty confident that I do not have nearly enough iron. This is why I had a tree farm up here, because I knew I would need like a million chests. So that's why I was doing like a little tree farming up here before I like fully started this project. I even took all my hoppers from my previous base that was like gigantic. I took all my hoppers from there and made a bunch of hoppers from my tree farm. And I've already ran out and I have not even done like one side of my item sorter. <sighs> and I don't know if there's going to be iron at the iron farm. Aha. Uh -huh. Every little bit counts. Typical order from McDonald's for me. Double bacon cheeseburger, 20 nuggets, large soda, and fries. That's one meal for me. I get uh, 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 just like the chicken tenders meal. And even that kind of fills me up usually before I finish the fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I need to make a lane for diamond and for red. I might already have a lane for uh, for deep slate redstone. Deep slate redstone. I see it. I see it. I've got it. Diamond was going to go here. We have normal diamond. We'll go here. And then deep slate diamond when I find any will go. Time to go to the iron farm. Are my wings about to break? They're not. My Wendy's wheel is 1800 calories. Oh, well, you know, if that's the only meal you eat all day, then it's all right, right? <laughs> oh, I need to hydrate. I need to hydrate. This is the TVS building. Under construction. My old base. Do I possibly have any more hoppers up here? Nope, I've literally gotten all of it. Some point, I don't know if I should give this away to anybody who wants it, or if at some point I should like come back here and make this a functional farm of some kind. Iron farm, maybe. It's like, I mean, it's already up here in the sky. It's already big. It already has a huge spawning platform for mobs and stuff. Like, oh, there's also a shit ton of villagers in the middle and this box in the middle. Like, this is all full of, like, literally probably a hundred villagers. As long as they haven't died. How do I even get in there again? This way? Yeah, you can hear them. Are they trying to breed? They got sparks. Are they trying to breed? Or are they assigning to beds? Anyway, the point of that is that they can see all the mobs that spawn outside. They can see. So they it's a pretty good iron golem farm. The village center is supposed to be right here because they're all surrounding like this. But I think they've linked up into multiple villages. I don't I didn't I read about it. and I don't think that there's an upper cap to the number of villagers that can be in a village, but I certainly get golems spawning in weird spots that are not, that are like beyond the radius of this village center. 
So there's something going on there. Oh, there's also a cow farm up here I forgot about. And then there's the top area. So much cool stuff going on with this, this base. Oh, these windows are gorgeous, but I just got too lazy to like finish them. Oh, I was going to the iron farm. I almost forgot. All right, be right back. I'm gonna go pick up my food. Don't die. Be safe. Wear a gas mask. And also share when you get back, because I'm hungry. <laughs> I should have like a granola bar or something. I'm going to run out of rockets. There's a gunpowder farm here as well, but... I don't think that it's working. This one doesn't seem to be working, at least, for some reason. Well, that spawned a spider. A spider in there. <gasps> we have iron. Uh, uh, honestly, look, I hate to do it, but I really do need a lot of iron. And I have provided a lot of iron. Why do I have that? Uh, this is not even this is not even gonna be enough. It's not even one stack. Ugh. Hmm, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Do we got any weird heads in the, the head gathering the head farm? Set your spawn, you go that way, and then you stand right here and do slash suicide. And it kills you, and then this detects the thing, and then this breaks. I see, I see, I see. You're stuck there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surely there's another iron farm somewhere. We've definitely made a couple of them. Where am I going to find iron? I'm going to borrow. It will give back at some point. Free baked goods. Enjoy. I am not sure. I don't have a stash of iron anywhere, at least. Two more. What? Why is the server lagging again? No. Yeah. 
Well, I'm going to play another ARAM. Or maybe it's time for some death metal and chess. Death metal and chess. Bronze League, yay. Need something hype. Uh, that's one of my favorite In Flame songs, but. Okay. <laughs> what? Okay. Best.com, huh? Suspicious. Sus. Point of no return for being passive aggressive. All you motherfuckers are lesson. Uh, he could have just had that. He'll take. Oops. He'll take here. I'll take here. He'll take there. Oh, okay. First, let's kick out the knight. He's playing fast. I mean, I don't know why he wanted to trade all those pieces. Like, now he has no active pieces. He has no dark square bitch up, so I'm going to put all of my pawns on light squares. Um, he takes, do I want to just go? Because I can take back. He has more covering that. I think I just want to go. Or I let him take here. Yeah, because I can't cover that guy enough. Watch the world burn. I'm going to let him. Um, like, he doesn't want to take here because I have more covering it. Takes, then I can take here. No, I still can't. Yeah, you didn't want that one, though. He moves this knight. Well, he moves the knight over there. Here, nothing. There. Got nothing. He moves this knight. I have discovered check, so he can't move that knight. Okay, now I don't. <laughs> what do I have? I should get this rook on this back rank before something bad happens. Do I just lose this? I do, don't I? Oh wait, now I'm going to lose this. 
I should have thought about that a little more. No, I'm not. Now he's not defending this, so that's free. And then this is a threat. There, he's not threatening. Oh, I guess he has more on this pawn. So I should cover it. Or do I just threaten the queen? Let's see if he doesn't see this. Try and get him on a cheap one. Hmm, oh, okay. I mean, well played by him, well played. I have either of these now. Because this guy's here cover, uh, attacking as well. After that take. Can't guard both of them. That means we're basically even. He's up a pawn on me. That's no good. That's no good. That's an okay move. That doesn't threaten anything. Oh, wait. I should have... Oh, man. Yeah, I needed to take first. I still don't know. He's only up a rook. I don't know if he can do it. Yeah, that was bad. That pawn was way more valuable than that one. Now I can just walk these two. Side of me, here in the dark side of me. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not too good at end games, is he? No, uh, you didn't want to do that. This guy's queening. Ah, eh, he wins. I mean, he's still gotta, he's still gotta find a checkmate without stalemating me. I guess that's pretty easy when he already had all the pawns. Oh. Wait. Wait, where's the resign? There we go. I've been playing on mobile way too much. Okay. 
I can't. This ELO is difficult to play at because people don't play anything that makes any sense to me. Banana. doesn't have anything here he doesn't have anything on this square he moved that just out of like habit I guess okay what's the move just develop I think He doesn't really have a way in with check to take the bishop. Then the bishop. Let's take. People play kind of such like a mindless, a mindless version of chess. It's weird. About it. They just like move pieces and just like attack, 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 and it actually throws me off because like I, I I'm trying to play like a regular game. If he takes, this just opens up my rook. And it takes me off my game so much because I can't play a normal game. I can never like put normal pieces out there. This is a good trade for me. I mean, he literally traded off everything, and in the end, he's up one pawn. Like, this is just somebody who just, like, coin flips to the end game. This is how everybody is at this ELO. When I was up closer to, like, 1,200, I could actually play games, but then I was, like, playing fast because I'm an idiot. Uh, I was just going to try and take a pawn, I guess. Take a pawn, I'll take your bishop. Because right here. Oh, I see. Well, he's going to win a rook no matter what. Uh, I should have slowed down. That's fine. I need to slow down. I don't know. When I play other people who play fast, it makes me play fast. Do I want to trade that? And it'll be... No, I don't want to trade that. I'll trade off a knight for a rook.
Surely I could have found a better move. Ugh. But whatever. Like, does he see something there, or...? Two checks on me, here or here? Here, he has no checks. I don't know, I think he's probably going to miss something with these knights. He's got to take some time to look at where my knights cover every turn. Technically, the rook is more powerful, but I don't... I've seen... I've, I've beaten many people by just the fact that I have knights, and they, like, have a hard time knowing where exactly the knights go. Nvidia Storm, hello, hello. Hide money. Thank you for the 100 bits. Much appreciated. I will spend it on hookers and sluts. No, ice cream and sluts. Whatever the... Wait, what is it? Uh, he just wants this pawn really badly. I'll let him have it. Now he wants this pawn. Uh, I let so many people that I put... Bitches and ice cream, yeah. I let so, so many people that I play against, like, I let them speed me up because, like, they're playing hella fast, like, just stupid fast, almost like they're pre-moving. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, for real, are you pre-moving in this 900 ELO match? ELO match? Like, it's stupid. It's so stupid. It's so stupid. And they play the dumbest stuff, man. Like, really, why why are you starting Queen Spawn? What does he think? Does he know Queen's Gambit? Does he know Queen's Gambit? Does he have any ideas? 900 ELO Queen's Gambit? Oh, I guess he's 1,000. Nope, nope. He's just going to rush out, rush out his bishop. Like, he's really going to attack this. What's he coming with? This? It's... Just stupid. I mean, if, I was going to say, if he goes this for real, this I would say is probably not a threat, but who knows? At this elo, I might take either of those. I don't know why I moved this. Like normal normal logic is like this is just a developing move, but at this elo, people play this with like intentions to like attack. And I'm like, you're literally on turn three. So I have to do stuff like this. And it's so obvious that they were planning to attack because now he has no idea what to do. Now his spaces are covered. Okay, he's just developing, so he's playing a normal match. Can't attack this. We understand. You gave up by by starting Queen's Pawn, you gave up center control so early. So like now trying to take it back, you don't have it. I will walk him back and he probably will because this is low e low so he'll probably do this okay or he's just going to try to attack with his bishop but knight doesn't really have a 
If you move this knight, I will just trade the bishops. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I better move would have been to just push. What was this knight doing here? Well, he's doing this now. Castle and then push the spawn. That was bold. If take, take. Take, I'll just be fine with that. Free bishop loses this rook, but can I get it back? If I block, then he takes this pawn. Uh, I think actually just walking out is best. This is a weirdly safe spot right now. Can't take because this is covered twice. He's got to get him out of there, I think. Well, I'll move, and then he's got to get him out of there. No, I can't move that way. What do I do? Move here? Take. I can also just put the queen here, and then now I can't take that yet. He's really trying to free up his rooks. Now you got to get this bishop out of here. But you have nowhere good to go. You gotta come all the way back. Or block your own rook. You're gonna come all the way back. Okay. I win that exchange. You gained a pawn on me, I gained your bishop. This isn't a threat. That's not really a threat. That's not that not a threat. There. I don't want him to go there. If I go this, I attack him and block all those squares, so he has to go back. He has to go back. He has to go back. You can cover it with the queen, okay? Now what? Now you gotta go back, and then I'm gonna attack your queen and pin it to this rook. I guess I can't do that yet. Um, I can kick this out. And I'm going to do this. Alright. No, because then just this. I guess I do this. Then this. He can put the bishop back there again. If he did not, he's attacking this. I'll just trade. I'll trade dark square bishops. this. He's still got this knight covering. I guess I do that just to clear this pawn's passage. Trying to attack this. And back. Welcome back. I've switched to chess because yes.
What's the move? This isn't he's not actually threatening this, right? Does he want to trade bishops? He's just down a whole piece, isn't he? Yeah, he's down a whole piece. I don't think he wants to trade. He might think that he does, but like that's because he's low elo and a bastard. <laughs> Lazar Ladide, hello, hello. Welcome on in. Um checks, but he's not threatening anything. I'll come here. Because I'm completely defended. He can't get through this. And this knight isn't gonna go anywhere and I can't take it, so we're just we're just happily sitting there, I guess. I don't see yeah, he had to go back. So he just wasted a move on nothing. Because he wants to put the queen there. Oh, what if I go here? Do you move the knight back in there again? If I go here and he moves the knight back in, then this is a threat. Unless I move this knight, which I can move there. We're just doing a little shuffle. I'm just freeing up this rook to get over here. Still five minutes, plenty of time, plenty of time. Yeah, I figured he would. And what, here for check? Don't I just go back? Yeah, I go back. Oh wait, no, because this pawn covers it. He goes here. He has no checks, he has no, he has no mate. Is he gonna just repeat moves? Perpetual. I think I can still win this. He's down a piece. I think a draw is good for him. Technically speaking, a draw is good for my elo too, because he's higher than me, so I'll get a point or two out of him. Again, I don't think you want to trade pieces here, my guy. Da -da 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 -da. What are you going to do, man? What are you going to do? Are you just going to keep playing with one piece this whole time? Just playing with this knight. He's, his last six moves have been this knight. Look, knight b4, knight g5, knight f3, knight g5, knight f7, knight g5. What is he threatening? He wants to take this? Nope. Also, I can take this now. So he needs to do like this. Got to get that rook involved, huh? Yeah, that's not good for you, my dude. Now your queen's under attack. Next time when I move this knight, I'll do this with discovered check. It's all over for him. That was it. That was a terrible, terrible move. Terrible, terrible move. Um... Oh, no, 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 no. I can actually go here to cover the knight if I wanted. I want to see if I can get his queen like here or here. Because then this discovered check wins me a queen. That's doing nothing. Gonna move and then this pawn's gonna be under attack but if I can get something going before then I can do this then he can take this knight mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
What's he planning? If I move, he has too many attacks on this, doesn't he? Once he moves. He goes here. What if I just threaten this? Now I can do this, though. Drink water. I'm drinking. I'm drinking water. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, what? Is he going to... What's he going to do? He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Got nothing. I don't think he has anything. I don't have enough time to like sit here and think about it but I have this for discovered check oh no I don't because the knight's there now come back here block this pawn and attack the queen Okay, I'm gonna go here. Oh. It would be a good move. But I have this. Right? Okay, this, if takes, then. Hmm. No. I can do this. Yeah, I'll do that. Of this. Takes, 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 takes. That's no good for me. guys can't go anywhere. I can go here and then I can take him. If I take okay. I'm running low on time. Got to start playing a little bit faster. Yeah, then he wins this night. Then it's Rook and Knight against Rook and Knight. But I like my pawn structure better. I have two connected pawns at least. But is he targeting this one? So he just lost that one. Covered. I have to go there.
I think that I can just start pushing this. He needs to cover the spawn. Now what? He get, can't move Jack. Also, that knight's covered, so... Trying to flag me? He's out of ideas? Now what? Now I win the spawn. And then I start pushing these two. And I win his rook. 32 seconds. He's going to win this one, but these two are gone. <laughs> I'm... Yeah, you win that one, but it doesn't matter. Oh. Is he trying to flag me by, like, stalling? He's literally trying to flag me by, like, stalling his move out. I might have six seconds. I guess I could... Can I pre-move? I don't know how to pre-move. Oh my god! Oh my god, I almost fucked it up. Oh my god. Oh my god! I can't believe it. <laughs> I don't know how to pre-move in this game. That's so sad. So tragic. Well, I did. Now I don't want to feel a thing anymore. I don't know if that was a good trade for him. He kind of thinks that it was, but... 
obviously, or he wouldn't have taken it. But I don't think that it was. If I can get here and here, then this bishop is never doing anything. I guess neither is mine, but... Uh, excuse me. Attacking that. Now he's going to trade a bishop for just some pawns. So he's gotten a rook and some pawns. I've gotten both bishops and a knight. I've got both his rooks out, I guess. After that, I just go here. He can't capture with the pawn. Maybe not. It's offering a queen trade. I don't think that I want it. No. You can take this, but then I have this, which is a sick fork check, and I win his queen. He just doesn't have enough pieces left. He got so many of my pawns. <gasps> there was a fork on my queen! I can see it. He still might not have enough pieces. He's got a lot of pawns, but I don't know. Like, what's he going to trade off to get this pawn? This pawn's covered by a bishop. This pawn can't get to it. I guess he can push this one. But then I can take that one, too. And then he's got to trade either a rook or his queen to get past this pawn and knight blockade. So gonna get material back All right I guess he gets in this way
I'm about to win his queen. Got it. Now you got to move his rook. And I'm going to go here. Then I can take this with discovered check and win that. I can still take this with discovered check and win that. And this one. You can go here here with check and an attack on those pawns is the best move so I should cover that can't go here I can go here with check and get that. Or he's just going to keep walking. Or I'll win the rook. If he doesn't move the queen, I'll win this, then I'll win the, win the rook. Okay, now what? <laughs> yeah, he gave up a lot of uh, power pieces for pawns and position, but he didn't really have any any plan to like capitalize on that. Thank you. I had two blunders, or he had two blunders. I get one free review a day. Let me review. Oh, what did I? Oh, is that when I blundered my queen? Yeah, that's when I blundered my queen. What should I have done here? What does he have to say? Where's the analysis? No, where's the review? What does he have to say on this move? Did I already, did I use an analysis this morning? I might have used an analysis this morning. So what should the move have been? Let's see, he had done this. What was it that I did? Did I do this? What was played in the game? Knight d5. This was played in the game. Attacking the queen, and he gave a queen trade. I could have just traded. Because what I did is I moved back into the fork. Okay, I should have just traded. Or, yeah, I mean, I had to see that the fork was there, and I didn't see it. Okay. And then, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is this? What is this? See, this is when it gets hard, because, like, what is this? What? I don't know how to play against this targeting that twice I'm already targeting it twice so I'm just going to prevent this pawn push and then I'm going to push mine this is defended that would be a trade yeah I can just do it because it messes up his queen side or his king side
Now I have weird ideas like putting my queen right there. Which I'm going to go for. Usually putting your knight on the side like this is terrible, but I'm just going to go for this because it's weird and it forces him to move. He loses his castle from that. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Oops. Because this takes your castle from you. Puts your queen right there. Which is weird. Then after this check and you take with this, then I win a rook. Yeah. Yeah. And if he's stupid and after I take the rook, if he goes here, then... Oh. Okay. Okay. We're going to get spicy. Here, 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 here. Hmm. Here, here, back. Here. Here. That's no good. Yeah, he's got to move. He can't block. This is what I expect from a 900 ELO match. So when I play these people that play, like, really well, I actually think that they're cheating, which might just be some copium, but... I'm the hand of God. Oh, he just he just gives up. He just gives up. What was the one blunder? Yeah, I mean, where was the one blunder though? Moving his queen there was a blunder. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Can I... No. Can I fianchetto? Please? I mean... We're gonna do this again. Is he gonna be like, yeah, I want that rook and pawn, so I'm gonna give up everything. So now you have almost you have less development than me, and like, yeah, you you earned a rook, but like your rooks aren't doing anything, so that advantage isn't felt right now. That advantage might be felt in the end game if you can get there safely. So. I guess he would need to trade off everything else. I don't know. I don't know what he does in this. Points wise, it's even, but like he traded a rook, an inactive rook, for an active bishop and knight. Bishop, bishop and knight. So he traded an inactive piece for two active pieces. And now that knight's going to just live there, by the way. That's his home now. He can't be pushed except by this pawn, and that pawn's not coming out for a while. Well, maybe. I guess he can do something weird with the knight, but then I'll just attack it. Yeah. So that's no good. That's a trade that activates my queen. That's no good. He doesn't have really any good options. I bet he trades. Yep. So you've traded another active piece and activated my queen. Now you're threatening to trade off another piece. He's just trading the house. Trade pawns? I like that trade. I like that trade. Now I have control of the middle. He's literally just trading everything. Now what? I have two bishops and a rook, and he has nothing. I just need to activate this rook. Put him here and bring the rook. Actually, if he takes, that helps me my development, so. Is 
this protects my queen a little bit. Careful, they're a merchant. They only know how to trade. Careful, they're a merchant. They only know how to trade. Oh, oh, I get it. I was like, huh? I was so confused. Now, is this better? My bishop's pretty powerful right here, but he's looking at a really well-protected piece. Of course, if I get him out of the way, then having my queen here, then this guy basically has to stay. So I think I want to keep my bishop there. I mean, I guess I could have gone and then targeted this. So that would have been fine. This blocks my bishop. But this is a winning trade for me, though. If this, then this, and that's covered, and now I'm threatening to take that rook. Okay, so you're targeting that. I can push it one, and it's covered. This guy is not covered. Oh, he's covered by the queen. Now he's not covered by the queen. This guy is under threat, I guess. And that would be with check. He literally is trading everything. Does he think he can win? Does he think he can win two rooks versus two bishops and a rook? He thinks that he wins that? I'll even trade off one of them. Now you got one rook. It's now, do you see how that math works? Now you've got one rook against a rook and a bishop. It's just losing. What? He's got somewhere to be? I'm so confused. I might just trade off everything. I'll just trade off everything. These pawns are past. They're queens. These pawns will be stopped by my pawns. Can't stop both of those. He's, he's so confused. Is he playing for a stalemate? What's he doing? People who don't understand chess. Now is he going to stall? I played against this too. The person who gets to a losing position and he will just wait out the timer. Because as long as he doesn't close the page, he can do whatever he wants. He can go watch YouTube videos right now. He could be off doing some React content. Maybe that's what I should do. He's literally, man, I've, there's so many people like this, dude. Cry babies. Cry babies. <laughs> have you ever tried Sogi by chance? I have not, but I'd like to. <laughs> uh, I'll even I'll link my Twitch. He can come follow me if he wants. <laughs> come on, give me a follow. Give me a follow. Give me a sub too. <laughs> That's double content. It's content for stream, and I'm gonna make a short out of it later. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe we play a normal match. Oh. I don't know the line. Uh I feel okay about this. I feel okay about this.
Uh, not really worried about the knight being there. It doesn't really bother me. Where's he going to go? Here, 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 here. Uh, you have to defend that guy. He's definitely going to trade there. I think I can do this safely. Takes, takes, and then this guy still needs defended. Yeah, that defends it. Trade me. Uh, this way. No, we'll go this way. Queen safety. Ah, okay, okay. Let's see if he's in time to defend. Ah, okay, okay. How about that? Training this or this? Yeah, now I can have whatever I want. Do I want that or do I want that? I think I want this. Let's open up the middle. And I can take this one. Then the middle's all mine. These pawns aren't really an issue, but I can free up these ones. I want to defend like this, probably. If there, I guess I can just trade. I feel like I've done enough damage with my queen. If there, I can also come back. Oh, okay. He's just giving me this one as well. Now I'm going to come here, which is a pretty safe spot. The knight can't get to me unless he can get there. Hmm. Uh, he probably will trade to mess up my structure. Um, also, his light square bishop is pretty worthless anyway. I'll just trade this way. And after the knight takes, then I go here. And he needs to either defend it or move it. If he defends it with the queen, I'm going to do this. Or this, because that defends this pawn as well. Okay. Yeah, pushing pawns too is good in the early game, but later it's better to try and push them slowly if possible. Here, I mean, he was just trying to defend this. This was probably better for defending it though. And pushing to, there's a big weakness. There was already a big weakness here because this was coming. 
but now there's just less pawns there to help. And this pawn is just going to block. It's just going to get in the way. I guess I can go here and attack the queen. I'll just take his knight. Does he double? He can't double. Uh, this might be his best move. Loses the knight, though. Got to move. There is probably best. But it's not good enough, because here and then here. So that loses. That loses. That loses. Yeah, this is the only this is the only move. And it doesn't solve his problems. So there, here, here, here. No, oh, then I can just go. Okay. It's basically lost for him. I don't I don't see a good move. He just has to he would just have to like give up stuff and start working on an escape route for his king. But this knight is toast. I gotta stay hydrated. That is a decent move. I can do this. I can do that, yeah. Uh, oh, wait. He can take. That's my mistake. Oh, well, he does. Yeah, if he. Okay. If he protects the pawn, then he loses the queen. Stretch! I need sounds to play for all of them. Uh, if he wants to keep playing... Okay, he gave up. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for the stretch, Redeem. Uh, this is, I guess, like the main line? I don't know. I don't play this. It's going for the fried liver, but... I can't do it now. <laughs> this? I usually just play for like center control, not. I guess I can castle now whenever I want. Can't go there, can't go there, can't go there. He could take that. So I can do this now because he can come back and take it. Protect it this way? This way? Slows my development. I can feed in Keto later. I'd rather not mess up my pawn structure this early. Is he targeting this? Defended by this knight, but. Okay. I'm probably going to have to mess up my pawn structure. Oh, I can't believe I've waited that long. Uh, excuse me. Some moves are just so transparent. No threat over here. Is no square that he can go to? It's hanging, he needs to cover it. Want to go here? Uh, that's probably not good. 
Unless I trade off that knight. That bishop. Do I want to play? Oh, wow. Okay, now I can do this, this, that, that, that. Mm. I feel okay about it. I could also just stop here. No, I cannot. That five sided fist of gone. I'll trade. I don't want to trade on my terms, though. I want to take that pawn. Mm. He doesn't trade. I'm going to take this pawn because he can't take that rook. Wow, wow, wow. <sighs> ah, he saw it. Can put his rook there, I guess. I have this. Right and check there. Maybe get some action going over there. I don't know. He's probably faster though. Okay. Okay. He knows a little, he knows a thing or two. This covers the back rank square. Adds a little more protection. Advances the knight a little bit. It's not really doing anything. It's kind of a stalling move. Curious what he's going to do. I don't really have any threats. Just kind of shuffling. Line up. Back. Far from innocence provided all the consequence only what does it matter now? Anything and now you found your way out in the trust, it seems. Do -do -do.
I have a good idea here, I think. This, 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 discovered check wins the rook. That's the idea. I think any pushes over here are too slow. Plus, he can't do this. This, he can do. I guess I could always just block there. I don't have a great pawn structure here, so I don't think I can fight over here unless he makes a mistake. You're going home, you're running free, as only you would be if you never out. This would not be good for him, so I don't think he's going to. Again, if takes, takes, takes. Uh, it doesn't really work now, though, because the pawn is blocking. So I would just lose the knight. I might just let him take and leave this open. Oh. Now I have ideas. I didn't think he would go that way. <laughs> You're running free. The money thing, and now found your way out in the trust, it seems. You're going home, running free. That's not where you need to be. You need to be here. Now I'm in. I'm in there. Now, now, now. This would be checkmate, which is dangerous. But I think as long as I can keep giving checks. I don't know. Kind of let me, he just kind of let me out of a potential checkmate. This rook now can't move. Yo, that rook still can't move. Can't move, my guy. If he moves his queen, I'm going to go here. I also need to get this pawn pushed ASAP. I guess it doesn't matter if he moves either of these. Uh, he can move that one. Okay. Uh. And I have this at any time, actually. Uh, ocean! Oh, the God, a good thing. The God, the light is much clearer. He has that, which is not good. Or I just go here and try and trade promptly. Yeah, I have to. I have to trade. Uh, I don't think he can get in fast enough for me to start eating up all these pawns. Might as well. Which 
whichever one he goes behind, I'm just going to take the corresponding pawn. Can't push this one, so I'll have to push this one and then lose this one with check. That was not a good move. Yeah. Now I can push. Oh, but then he dies. Let's just waste some time. Might just have to try and beat him on time. Keep one pawn in my rook alive long enough. Oh. want to risk it? He does. Thinks that he can win this, huh? It's a draw. One point for me. I count it. I feel good about that. I should have won as white, but... This is early castle. I'm usually not a fan of it, but do I want to take his castle away? What if I do? What if I want to play something spicy? Give up a knight and a bishop, take his castle, and get two pawns. Okay, now that knight is stuck. Let's just push and take the knight. I'm going to have to walk his queen, or his king. Oh. Emmanuel Castle. I'm just playing moves. I'm going to lose some Milo on this.
Um, if he's just going to blunder his queen like that, geez. And then he's just going to blunder this bishop. Wow. Wow. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> well, um, what is this passive? What is this passive move? What is he doing? Why do I have a feeling he's going to do crazy? Oh, well. Do you know that I'm double guarding that with my queen? I should just castle for now and put the rook there. Interesting. If he moves the knight, I take the rook. He's going to have to cover like this. I have this and that. I have that. The real move is after this, and he goes here, then I go here. I don't run the knight to safety. I attack this or that. I'll lose that knight, but I will gain this. I'll probably lose this too. Oh, he's preempting it. Okay, okay, okay. Do I have anything else? No, but I can just hang out there, I think. Um, take, take, nope. Uh, can do this. Where is he going to go? Here, here, here. He has no, no place to go. So that traps the bishop. Best he can do is get a pawn. Not only does that win me a bishop, but it also gets my my king off the back rank. A little bit less defended, but it gets me off the back rank. And I have escape routes out this way. I'm also not really worried about anything coming here, because I control the file. Got this. Um, he's worried about me doing this, I guess. I'm doing this. Next, I'm going to do this. Uh, 
that's fair. No problem. He's a, he has such, I just realized what he did. He just like he moved his rook, he walked his king to here, and his rook was here, and then he moved his king over and then moved his rook over. He just like manually castled. What did he just take? Did he just take something? He took a pawn? I think I can just Ah, it's a night that way. I see, I see. Uh, I didn't need to do that. I should have just taken that. Oh, well, I can trade off the rooks and then take that. Not a good trade for me though if I have to go backwards. Hopefully he just moves. Hopefully he tries to save it. Nope. Where do you want to go? There? It wants to be here or here. There's no good. There, there. So he wants to get his knight there. Then he's just gonna what keep its queen like back here. I mean, I get points for that. Yeah, I get points for that, man. I'm going to just do this again. I'm just going to do it again. Having fun. Ooh, interesting. So now I can do this, and this, 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 if this, and that. Take him, he's still hanging. No good moves. Oh wait, you can go there. Well, no castle, so it won't be a check. Can try and go there, but I don't know if he sees this. The backwards queen. If he doesn't move anything, this is Yeah, it's still hanging. But if I go then he has that.
Okay, you want a piece back. But like, what is this? This rook is never going to get active. Especially if I can get this pawn pushed far enough. I essentially have a free rook. I just got to activate my other pieces. He can't, like, activate this bishop immediately because I'll take that. So he needs to take a turn. I always have check right there. Or there. He's got nothing. He's got, he may be a bishop up on me, but see, like, this rook is essentially dead. He's doing nothing. Um, this rook hasn't really, I mean, neither of my rooks, I guess, are doing anything, but I don't know. He's weirdly, his pieces are pretty active. And yet, he doesn't have anything. Trying to get in this way. I can give a quick check right here. Come back. Comes here, then I'm going to take that rook with the check. Oh, wait, I'm, <laughs> oh, wait, dude, I was like, I was going to come back to here. I was going to come back to there. And then I was like, oh, I'll just pin. Yeah, I was winning. I was winning until this move. I was going to come back to here, which was a much better move then he just doesn't have anything what other moves what other moves could I have what, what else could I have played um, yeah that's the only one really 
I guess I also could have done this. No, it doesn't like that. Yeah, that's the best move that he's got. Nothing. Um... I would have been not fun to play after this. Like, I'm defended, but it's not fun to play. I've got more pieces. Like, where are they going? I guess I could have that, that, I could do that. And, uh, where does he do this? here yeah 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 well it was a game anyway this was a fun stream i uh i had a good time played some chess played some minecraft didn't get as much done with minecraft as i wanted to but i did stuff um and played some chess and i think that i won more than i lost um system of a down you're way too loud so i had a good week of streaming i hope everybody had a fun week um i probably should make some shorts i'll make some shorts over the weekend most likely um what else do i have oh tomorrow tomorrow big news tomorrow i've got a collab with uh take that and komodo geo we're gonna play some raft it's three guys on a raft. We're like the, uh, we're like the the um, the uh, ho the hollow tempests of of uh, indie VTubers that un average less than five viewers. <laughs> but it's gonna be a lot of fun, you know. Uh, uh, we all like take that and Komodo. They're 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 awesome. So um, I look forward to that. I really like doing collabs. Um, I think that collabs are more my speed when it comes to streaming. So I look forward to doing some more. In the future, I have a collab with uh, Davidia. We're gonna do. We were here together, and uh, or we were there. We were there. We were here. We were here together. Whatever that game is. Hopefully, not kill each other. But I'm really looking forward to that. Um, uh, and I want to do like some good edits, some good highlight edits of these collab streams when I do them. Um, like like higher quality. Really work on them. Uh, so look forward to that. That's uh, tomorrow night. I'll tweet. I can't remember what time. It's going to be like tomorrow after dinner, I think. Um, I'll tweet once I know, once I get with them. I mean, we already decided on the time. I'm just, I just forgot. Um, so I'll let you guys know. Pay attention to the Twitter for that. I am pretty much back to doing shorts every morning. Please check them out. My shorts aren't doing as well as they had been. I think it's because they're not Minecraft related anymore. So I need to do more Minecraft shorts. But I'm liking doing them. So yeah. Uh, with that, um, I could look for somebody to raid. Let's see who's out there. I need to get back to raiding people more. I just feel bad raiding, uh, oh, Komodo is playing, uh, Komodo is playing Mario and Luigi, so, uh, oh, that's, I'm sitting here like, where is that coming from? It's coming from Twitch. Uh, slash raid, Komodo. Geo. All right. He's playing, uh, playing what Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. So yeah, let's have fun with uh, with Komodo. Say hi and all that good stuff. Bye.